Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Okay, for your third and final glassing episode. Okay, now I tried to answer everyone's questions. Um, I want to show you this spot right here. There's another one. See, that's too much resin on it. I wanted to show you what it does. Missed my walking dead last night. I was watching that football game. That was a good game, man. I knew Kansas City couldn't pull it off. Well, here's the only one I can find. They're not that big a deal unless you get way too much resin. But you see how that glass floated up right there? That's from too much resin. You see these ripples? We left a bit too much resin on that one. But if you, it'll get worse if you try and try and just get it all smooth with one application. You see, and I, I run my glue past this edge. I get a really nice clean cut square corner no phrase no filling because I use my fiberglass end piece you know and I think I want to put that on the back here too Quick and easy. I'm trying to get to prime them. Not waiting. A long time to get to prime the next day or two. I'm going to be priming. I got some other stuff I want to do. I got to lay up a couple parts for Joe. And we're going to be swapping some resin here, guys. It's going to get messy. Mold these wings. I'm gonna to go to. I gotta to go to Associated today. Get some foam. Okay, now the scraping technique. I had some people saying, "Don't that razor razor blade cut the glass?" No, guys, we ain't going like this. You know, we're just we're pressing down, but. You really got to get a firm grip. You see all that stuff that's flaked off? And that's just so smooth. And basically, you want to scrape the whole thing. pile of white stuff right there and that is so smooth guys and don't gum up your sandpaper that's what sandpaper will do sandpaper will actually get in there and start cutting these fibers and wearing them fibers down
Now what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'm going to come in here and uh, prime it and block it out real good. I'm going to get it nice and smooth. Then I'm going to come put my hinge deal here where this hinge wing folds up. It's just uh, not a scale one, but uh, that'll be next. I think I'm going to whittle it out of balsa wood. But I gotta get this sand flat before I put it on. You know, I gotta get this all block sanded and then pretty much sand it back down to uh, the resin. You know, but get it nice and flat before I do that. tell the places you ain't got because it's still rough. Just that little spot. You see that? Just from this little spot. Like them pinholes, man. Come in here with that glazing putty and just putty this whole wing, man. And you know, and spend two days working on pinholes. Just pinholes. I started doing it like this. Adding that second coat at the right time. some primer on it, thought you got them all, and bam, there's some more bin holes. If you wait to see, we'll see, see what one coat of primer does to this wing. One coat, 
sand it. It's ready for paddle lines, man. Very little film. But I got my glass from Thercraft already. Can I order that Thursday? They're fast, man. Just a few days. I like how it comes, too. He rolls it all on that. Small PVC pipe, you know. And, uh, so it don't in a big old roll. This is even a lot lighter stuff than is on them wings. So now I can, once I get these scraped, I can glue my top pieces on. Oh, someone was asking me about wrapping this glass all the way around. You know, I could have on this piece, especially since I had something to hold on to, but, you know, it, it just makes it a lot tougher. You know, a wing especially would be hard to do, and you'd waste, waste a lot of cloth, and it just wouldn't be worth it. This way, it kind of gives you a double layer of glass right on your leading edge. And that's where you need it. If you bring it way back here, then you got a seam you got to deal with, sand and fill, you know. <coughs> so, so I think you're better off just going one side at a time. You know, you know, just don't want to get in a super big hurry, you know. 
So I'm do it all in one step. to this show as a nice guy. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. Like he sees the light now. Realized what he had. Messed it all up. He was the king of his own little village. Now he's a nobody.
Busy week. Well, bam, there's my roll of cloth in it already. See, that's rolled up on a real small tube. That's what it don't look like them others did over there. But, uh, it's 50 yards, 10 ounce. Now, for most, no, I got, I bought 9 ounce. I bought some different stuff that's a little softer. And I'll tell you why later. But, I got some running around to do, guys. I'll be back tonight with some more Bob TV. And we'll see you back in the shop.